I think it's appropriate to uh, take a moment to remember the purposeful life of a citizen of Illinois, a service member of the United States Navy who lost his life on Thursday, well, Friday morning after midnight. Uh, he went to Crystal Lake South High School. Uh, he joined the United States Navy. His name is John Larimer, and we mourn his loss. Uh, we thank his mom and dad and his whole family for the values that they gave him and his upbringing. Uh, a story in today's paper, um, he was with his girlfriend at the movie, and he saved her life in the theater. And I think it's important that we not forget ever the special life of John Larimer. <clears throat> and we thank God for giving him to us <clears throat> and ask God to give him eternal rest. So I think it's important all of us in Illinois uh, join together with everyone in our country to mourn the loss of the other 11 who were killed and all those who were injured. We want them to recover. And it's very important, I think, as a family, whether it's Illinois or our country, in these uh, uh, tragic times that we come together as a family. People may have political differences and philosophical differences, but when it comes to honoring heroes, all American heroes like United States Navy Petty Officer John Larimer, uh, we never forget. And today we're signing a bill, uh, actually two bills that deal with a issue that uh, came to public light. Uh, citizens uh, brought the issue forward. They spoke to the press. Uh, at its very best, wrote stories about uh, abuse of uh, placards that we all know are important for people who are uh, driving a, a vehicle and need to park in a particular place in order to get access to that location. Uh, we have, for many, many years, uh, access points for those men and women. And uh, for anyone to try and take those access points, uh, access areas and zones, uh, that is not really qualified under law to do so, who doesn't have a disability, is really just plain wrong. And we want to do something about that. So today we're signing two laws that have been sponsored by legislators who will speak. I think this is a very, very important public safety issue. It's vital to all of us, and we want to make sure that when there's an opportunity for them to uh, park their vehicle so they can get to where they want to be is available. That is why I am committed to targeting and eliminating any fraud and abuse to that program. House Bill 5056 takes a, a no-nonsense approach to targeting and punishing able-bodied individuals who insist upon gaining an advantage by parking where they should not park. It springs from my advisory committee on traffic safety, which met earlier this year in Chicago. The committee unanimously endorsed my proposal to punish those individuals through the initiation of a bill, House Bill 5056. It creates a new offense for, uh, for the egregious act of misusing a deceased person's placard. It is a Class A misdemeanor which carries a minimum of one year driver's license suspension, better yet, one year driver's license revocation, and a $2,500 fine. It increases the license suspension periods for general misuse of the disability placard or plate to the following. The first offense increased suspension from 30 days to six months, which means if you get caught the first time using someone else's disability placard, uh, in the past it used to be 30 days, now it will be six months. The second offense increases the suspension from six months to one year and increases the fine from $750 to $1,000. The third offense increases suspension from one year to a one-year license revocation and a $1,000 fine. A suspension is a certain period of time. A revocation means it'll take a longer period of time for you to get your license back. And I'm here today to thank Governor Quinn for signing these important pieces of legislation into law. I also want to thank the sponsors of House Bill 5056, Representative John D'Amico and Senator Martin Sandoval. And I also want to thank the members of my disability community for their support and expert testimony. 
This legislation will help ensure disability parking spots are available for those in need. This is an important step, but I'm not done yet. I established a subcommittee to conduct a top to bottom review of the parking program for persons with disabilities. The subcommittee is made up of experts from the disability community. It is chaired by Sam Skinner, who served as chief of staff for President George H.W. Bush. The subcommittee will hold its first meeting in Chicago on August the 7th. They will report their findings to my advisory committee on traffic safety for final action. I want to make it clear that abuse of the parking program for persons with disabilities is something that I take personally. My office is not new to this issue. My Secretary of State Police conducts successful sting operations throughout the year and especially during the holiday season. It is against all laws of human decency for you to be able-bodied, but yet you want to take advantage of a program that has been set aside for those in need. I have a simple message for individuals who want to abuse this program. If you don't belong there, don't park there. Thank you. <laughs>